For the first time, a clear photograph has emerged of the elusive side weapon bay on the Russian Su-57 fighter jet, that appears to be optimized for short-range air-to-air missiles. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has laid the keels of two next-generation offshore patrol vessels for the Indian Navy. The DRDO is set to elevate the capabilities of the advanced lightweight torpedo with a 100 kW magnesium silver chloride battery upgrade, intended to boost its speed from 33 knots to an impressive 47 knots. The DRDO is planning an accelerated daging test for the Rudrum-1 anti-radiation missile to estimate its shelf life. Southern Army commander visited Bharat Forge facility, a day after it emerged as the lowest bidder for 307 ATAG's order. China has unveiled its J-35A at the Zhuhai 2024 airshow, and its side-by-side -side comparison with the American F-35 has sparked controversy across social media, suggesting that China has mimicked the F-35 design. Ministry of Defense has issued a call to Indian industries to develop automatic defect recognition software for weld radiography inspection, specifically for ships and submarines. Siliconia Technologies has developed beam-forming multiple input multiple output radar, that offers longer range, high spatial resolution, accurate target detection and strong interference suppression. DRDO has developed indigenous electronic warfare support measures for the Dornier 228 aircraft of the Indian Navy. Israel has deployed the world's first robotic combat task force, that helped to carry out fully robotic combat missions, drastically reducing the risk to Israeli troops. Based on human-machine integration formation, it performs complex high-risk operations up to the battalion and even brigade levels. The executive vice president of IAI's Northern American Affairs Amir Gavu has said, that the autonomous combat system worked brilliantly, and the company is open to jointly working with partner countries like India. The DRDO has completed the manufacturing process for the Taro Glide weapon system, and the system is now ready for its testing phase. The Taro will enable the Indian Air Force to strike enemy targets from a distance, keeping aircraft away from hostile air defense systems, while maintaining high effectiveness in destroying both fixed and mobile targets. Learning from the Tejas Mark I program, India will price its Tejas Mark II more competitively than Western fighters like the F-16 or Gripen, and will engage nations in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa, that could yield fruitful collaborations that would open markets for the Tejas Mark II. Establishing regional facilities for manufacturing parts maintenance and training in countries that purchase the Mark II version will ensure long-term partnerships, as this move will enhance buyer confidence. India will also offer government-backed financial assistance or structured payment plans to make the Mark II more accessible to potential buyers. Officials have said, that the Rafale Marine outperformed the American Super Hornet on several critical technical criteria, with one significant differentiator being the lack of an integrated infrared search and track system on the F-A-18. By operating exclusively in the infrared spectrum, the IRST system provides the ability to spot airborne threats well beyond visual range, which is particularly valuable in modern combat scenarios, where stealth and the element of surprise are critical. Today's Top 3 Comments